Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Michelle and I'm back with another video. I know I've been MIA for a little bit. Just taking a little breaky break, but today I am up in Adam. Just want to give you guys a little update of what's been going on for the last couple of days since you guys haven't really been seeing me upload. Put the camera down and just wanted to just, just do me. But another reason why I haven't been too consistent is because I broke the piece to my computer. I hope you guys are doing good today. I know you guys read the title. That's why you guys clicked on it. What's going on here? We will get to that. Let me just, let me tell you this quick little story. I want to get my eyelashes done. And I'm all for supporting small businesses up coming businesses that's just how I am I feel like you have to start somewhere so I saw somebody tag this one particular eyelash spot on Instagram blah 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 set up the appointment everything was all good the energy was good I had a great time eyelashes were great but I woke up matter of fact later on that night when I came home I kept feeling like little things on my face and I was like what the fuck is this come to find out my eyelashes were coming off mind you this was the same exact day bro went to sleep not thinking anything of it I'm like okay whatever mind you I didn't wash my face I didn't anything I woke up to go pee in the middle of the night and my eyelashes were on my damn pillow they were all my cheeks. I was like, no. Mind you, I paid $100. Wasn't even a whole 24 hours. So it was hits you know at this point i'm done with lashes i'm trying to get them done i'm just gonna do them myself you guys know i have a shopping addiction right so i got so many different outfits from like fashion nova shein and stuff like that forever 21 all that but i've never shopped from pretty little things so i wanted to see how their clothes fit me or whatever so i picked out these fire jeans these are the jeans and then it shows your stomach right here these are just regular like mom wash jeans or whatever mind you it's a size two Y'all see that size two in U.S., right? This is a size four. Super disappointed because they're so big. And then I got this cute top. It kind of looks like a do-rag, but it gave me Versace vibes. Little halter top, whatever. It ties around the neck. This is a, it's a small. And it's so big. I don't know. It looks like a tablecloth. I have to go to return this, but it's kind of hard because they don't send you a um, shipping label. I can't speak to anybody, so I emailed them. And I guess they emailed me the shipping label, so now I gotta find a store. I threw out the packaging that it's supposed to be. It says you can return it, but put it back in the actual like clear plastic. I threw it out because I got happy thinking I could fit it. I gotta find some packaging for the clothes, and then find a spot and drop it off, and in hopes that they refund me my money because this was not cheap. So I'm bummed about that. But on a positive note, let me show y'all. I started like revisiting like old like hobbies and stuff, and I used to read a lot before, so. I got this cool book it's called Reflections of a Man. I had to get it because when I saw like the little snippet on Instagram of how the author wrote the book or whatever, I was just like, wow, you know, it just makes me makes me kind of understand a man a little bit more, understand myself, just being in a relationship and just understanding certain situations, you know, what you would deal with, what you won't, what you have been dealing with, noticing certain things that you shouldn't deal with. And then I also wanted to share this. I got a present, one of the subscribers. And I love it. Let me show you guys. It's an anklet. And it basically, it harmonizes your energy, your conscious. It's basically to protect your energy, promote positive thinking, just keep you in a good space. And I thought that was so thoughtful of, you know, one of you guys. Basically an energy tool to vibrate at high frequency, emitting feelings of love and peace and help support you emotionally in times of need, lift your spirits and provide the motivation and inspiration to chase your dreams. I am all for it. And it's an anklet. I love anklets. So I'm so thankful for this. I haven't even worn yet. I'm going to wear it today. But thank you so much. You know who you are for gifting me this beautiful anklet. So good knowing that you guys are thinking of me. Just wishing well for me. Support is all you really need. It's not even about like materialistic things. Just knowing that you have somebody that you can go to. Or somebody that's thinking of you. When times of need just makes you feel like life is beautiful. It just makes you feel much better knowing that you're not by yourself. But I am about to go out. Yeah, I'm supposed to be linking up with Eddie. We're supposed to be going. I don't know where we're going to go. He told me to just hit him up when i'm dressed it's been a long time you guys very very long time if you've been following us then you know what's been going on where we stand we're just trying to figure it all out come to terms with things how we're going to do it what's going to be the best for both of us and in the best interest of the children so it's a beautiful day it's been hot as fuck in new york for the last three days they had like a heat wave um warning saying if you don't need to be outside don't go outside it was literally like 97 degrees here in new york but it felt like 106 literally playing a cool justice did you get into chocolate? Where did you get this chocolate from? Let's go clean your hands. Oh my God. Nothing really crazy has been going on with my life. I did purchase a pool for the kids. Been setting that up, just getting like the floaties, the chlorine, just, you know, doing stuff like that. It's so hot that you just can't breathe. Not even asthmatic. And when I sat outside, I was like, whoa, I'm going right back in this house. Even when it hits like six, seven, eight, it's still super duper hot. And I love the hot weather, don't get me wrong, but I cannot stand like when it's real muggy. It just feels so sticky, icky, and nasty. But you just have to take multiple showers, and I can't stand that feeling. But the kids have been enjoying their pool. I'm not really too comfortable with them still like swimming in the public pools, only because 
you know, all of the stuff that's still going on. So I figured why not get them their own pool where they can swim as much as they want. Juju loves the water. You guys have got to see him. He is a little fish. That's how I was when I was a little girl. I never wanted to get out the pool. We're in the process of like teaching Lyric and Mia, like they're okay with the water, but they're afraid to go under. See, Juju, he's like, listen, I'm here for it. He's fearless. So a little bit, I'm supposed to be linking up with Eddie. Yes, I am. Eddie decided that he wanted to link out with me. And I was like, you know what? Why not? It's been a long time since we've actually had any type of you know one-on-one -on -one activity most times it's been just solely about the kids due to our current situation and i was just like you know what why not what the hell whatever so he wants to link up in a little while he told me to call him when i get dressed supposed to just go out and really make plans of like where we're gonna go but you know it's okay to link up it's okay to talk and you know see what see what's what actually trying to book this i'm trying to go on a vacation okay been looking at a lot of like vacation spots and I think before the summer ends, I'm going to try to book a flight. I don't know where I want to go, but I'm definitely getting my ass out of New York because your girl needs it. I need to be on somebody's beach somewhere sipping some mimosas or something. You feel me? Because it has been a long, hectic ass year with this whole virus. I'm ready to just do things that, you know, I haven't done. That's what I'm going to do, but I'm about to call him if I can find my phone. Hello? What's up? What's up? What you, you told me to hit you up when I'm dressed. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with that. I just told you I was gonna hit you when I got dressed or whatever. Uh, so, so you gonna come this way or you want me to meet you halfway? You got your ID? y'all so it is about 100 degrees we just left the uh the gum range which was a really great experience it was a really good time mm -hmm. and now we've decided to just you know get some air even though it's hot as hell out here it's like literally like 100 you degrees you, you want to say hi to them or hey, I'll you that. Oh, so yeah so right now we're just sitting up in like a nice little area it's really nice as you guys can hear like the, the water in the background kind of loud but it's really serene and peaceful and we just wanted to just you know chop it up and just you know talk it's been a while catch up on a few things so what you got going on with your channel i see your channel been doing some numbers we just been putting out content over there you know if you're not already in tune and you're getting tuned go to my channel follow what's up boy that's a club yeah i mean listen I'm, I'm just trying to put out content that's real to me i see you being consistent and that's what that's I, I see you consistency is key y'all i'm trying to be like you actually I mean, cause you over here, she's over here the one really, I seen it. I know all of y'all see, I get the notice and all of that. We're just vibing right now, that's yeah, exactly. It. We're just trying to adult right now and just like sit back and really relax and chop it up. It's been a while, so um, yeah. If you guys enjoy spending the day with us, make sure you like, comment, you subscribe, make sure your bells are turned on, make sure you follow your boy, Westside Ward. I'll put all that down below. I love you guys so much. 